World Book Day this week and people are releasing books all over the place. And we are releasing a book called The Catter's Nine Lives and So Have I by Leah Medella, which we will be discussing on the book show, which you will be able to see after this. Now very quickly, A Catter's Nine Lives is an original story that originated from 19-year-old Jack Medella, who handed his daughter Leah a set of tapes with his life story on it. A Catter's Nine Lives and So Have I. Welcome. To the book show. This is a new series, The Moving on TV, where we will be looking at new books that are coming out. We'll be inviting on authors to talk about their work, to read a chapter from their work if they want to. So we're looking for you, for anyone who's got new work that doesn't know where to go to get it published or even listened to or read. We're here for you to come on here and you can read a chapter. As I say, you can talk about the book. We'll interview you. You can tell us the background and really have a platform for your work. Welcome to the book club. We have our first book and it's called A Cat Has Nine Lives by Leah Medella. The cat. They say that he will find you somehow knowing you. He will come into your life and like a bandit in the night bewitch you and capture your heart, eat your food and steal your soul. Dogs are man slaves, yet cats are masters as they settle into our homes and take over our favourite chair and you will be enchanted as they completely take you over and they will always, always land on their paws. Leah Medella. A cat has nine lives. This book is not about a cat. It's about Jack Medella, my father. I'm Leah Medella. It's my pseudo name, my writer's name. I'm very happy to be reading to you the prologue and first chapter from my book and my father's book, a book we wrote together called A Cat Has Nine Lives. Like the cat, my father, Jack, has always fallen on his feet. One day when I was in Israel a couple of years ago, I went to visit him and he brought out a set of tapes and gave them to me. It's all in here, so I'm just going to read you a little bit. A Cat Has Nine Lives introduction. My name is Jack the cat and like a cat I've lived nine lives. Nine times I was moved around from the age of five and nine times my life was saved in one way or another and like our feline friends I landed securely on my feet, not paws. I've lived a very full life where I've encountered different people and situations that have taken me through the tender young old age of 92. I would like my story to be an example of how there is something nondescript that I call the hand of God that has taken me and placed me in different places and experiences that have given me the courage, spirit and tenacity never to give up. I've been abandoned, loved and been through an extraordinary life. This story is about survival not dissimilar to some of the classics like Oliver Twist or David Copperfield. I too started out like them and this is the honest truth. As sure as God made little apples. I hope you enjoy my story. Prologue. I'm sitting in the taxi on the way to my dad's house. It's 2013, it's June and 30 degrees in the shade. Luckily, the driver has got the air conditioning on. We chat as the car interlaces itself in between the other vehicles on the road. It always amazes me how the Israeli drivers have such a lack of fear on the road. This is probably due to their constant state of fight or flight that they live with on a, a daily basis. I mean the constant wars and threat to their lives. The car screeches to a halt and the noise of blaring horns, horns threaten to draw, drown out the sound of the pop music Elan, the taxi driver, was playing. 
we chat about the situation in the Middle East as we get closer and closer to the seaside town my dad lives in near the beach. Unwanted memories from the past fill my mind. Growing up in a foreign country where I didn't fit in and couldn't settle as a child. Many years ago, the boat that brought us from Dublin had landed in the port of Haifa and as we disembarked and got into the taxi, which was to take us to the small settlement where we were going to be, I knew for certain in my seven-year-old child's heart I would never feel at home in Israel. Little did I know that I was on the verge of an adventure 50 years later, which would also show me how my dad, as a tiny boy of five, two, faced a confusing and unsettling future after being uprooted from Dublin to an orphanage in the UK. The street Dad lived on came into view. The taxi stopped and let me out at number seven Naaman Street. Elan helped me with my small suitcase. Then I walked across the garden towards Dad's flat. Thoughts were flooding my mind. I hadn't seen Dad for a year this time and I was scared of there being a big change in his appearance. I rang the bell. Jacob, Dad's carer, opened the door and a great big smile spread across his face. He then led me into Dad's bedroom. Dad was very thin, thinner than I remembered him to be. He was very old now, but he hadn't lost his youthful spirit. When he saw me, it was as if the life came back into his body and he reached out to hug me. After about 30 minutes of chatting and catching up, a few glasses of cold water provided by Jacob to help quench my thirst, Dad leant back across his side of the bed and lifted up a box. I have something to ask of you, he said as he handed me the box. He then gestured to me to open it. As I unraveled the tape that was keeping it secure, I discovered six cassettes, all set out in numeric order written in Dad's handwriting. It's my life story. I've recorded it on these tapes, Leanne. I would like you to write it all down, you know, professionally as a proper book. I even have a name for the book. A cat has nine lives and so have I. I was astonished. He was a 92 year old man who could hardly walk anymore. And yet he had managed to put his memoirs down on a whole set of tapes so I could help him to tell his story to the world. Not only that, but he even had a name for the book. <laughs> I could see his face light up as he started to explain to me how he wanted this to happen. I knew that age is unimportant at times and how people in their twilight years like Dad were doing amazing things to change their lives. Now I saw the same determination and focus in my elderly father and all I could feel was a sense of pride, admiration and gratitude for being his daughter. Not to mention fear and trepidation of how I could possibly create something from a bunch of recordings. I knew I could write as I'd written a few musicals, but this was very different. So that is how the book came to be. But now... It's time to go back to where it all started and hopefully you will fall in love with the cat, my father, and be able to learn from his experiences and enjoy this book. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the prologue. In the next episode, I will start to read chapter one of A Cat Has Nine Lives and So Have I, written by Leah Medella. And Jack Medella. Thank you.